What's going on everyone and welcome to the Nightsman channel. What we got today is Star Wars Battlefront 2, the Age of Rebellion update gameplay trailer. Now I'm a big fan of Star Wars and I have played this game multiple of times. Um, I'm actually one trophy off from getting the Platinum Trophy for this game. Um, but it's to get to level 50 which takes a little while. Uh, but putting that to the side, I'm super excited to see what this update is bringing to the game. And what it's bringing to the Star Wars community. Uh, so I'm expecting some spicy things going on. And uh, yeah, I honestly need to get back into the game. So hopefully this trailer does it for me. So without further ado, let's go let's go don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell notification and comment down below if you like this game so yeah let's go here we go star wars violence all right hello there this is dennis Branwell from the star wars battlefront 2 team in the next update we're returning to the classic age of rebellion you're now matched Play co-op in original era right. locations, approach the battlefront in new ways with the Ewok yes. and ISP agent, and expand the arsenal with more weapons. Age of Rebellion co-op introduces intense PvE battles to the ominous second Death Star, no escape. the Great Temple on Javan 4, the snow-covered fields of Hoth, Mos Eisley, Jabba's Palace, the forest moon right. of Endor, Where are they from? and the Quaxium mines on Kessel. As a bonus, we're adding the prequel era capital ships, the Venator class Star Destroyer, and the Separatist Dreadnought okay. to Korra. The sequel era MC 85 Star Cruiser and Resurgent class Star Destroyer will be playable in Heroes vs. Villains in February and in co op later in March. Yes. Here we go. The joins the rebels in their efforts to overcome the tyranny of the Galactic Empire. Yes. Wielding a bow and arrow, the furry native of Endor can switch between auto targeting or manual aim for greater control and output. Okay. Look at these little fellas. The Valiant Horn distracts the enemies by deliberately revealing the player on their radar for a short time and increases the Ewok's damage output and resilience. Tossing a pouch of Wisties damages and disorients affected foes. And by making use of inborn instincts, the Ewok can uncover nearby opponents. Yes. The ISB agent, on the other hand, is a devoted representative of the Empire Security Bureau and well versed in multiple combat scenarios. The dual RK3 blaster pistols are highly effective at close to mid range and can be overcharged into a longer range power blast. Damn. While active, the assault training ability increases her speed and reduces incoming damage while sprinting. The ISV agent also uses Imperial Intel to reveal enemies and toughen up her allies with a morale boosting cry. Double your efforts! We're also expanding our selection of weapons for all trooper classes. The assault gets the E11D blaster. The officer acquires the DL18 blaster pistol. The heavy receives the T21, T21, and the specialist gets the crude cycler rifle. All weapons will be customizable with modifications. That's all for this update, but here's a peek at what's coming in the next one. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you. Alrighty, alrighty, just a cheeky little update there. Now, a um, couple of things to talk about. Looks like they're bringing some of the old locations back, which is uh, good for the multiplayer. Uh, looks like they're adding, obviously, different little elements to the game with different characters. Uh, those Ewoks look pretty cool, to be honest. Uh, and, you know, just adding those sort of things, I think, just keeps the game, um, you know, interesting and kind of keeps that player base. Even though I've kind of gone away from this game, because I'm, I'm, you know, very story-driven person. Um, I always love Battlefront 2 as an online game, and I might actually diverge and go back in a little bit because I do need to finish off that Platinum Trophy. Um, and I do think it's a solid game, um, regardless of what other, other people think. I know Heroes vs. Villains was my favourite uh P vs P, player vs player um, game mode, just because you can get the most experience um, from that game mode, and that's what you need to get to that level 50, but um, as a whole, look, I just love the game, you know, who doesn't love Star Wars, and I think just them still you know you know a game's you know successful when they're still working on it and it's been out how long now you know that you know that 
how exciting is that? They just, they haven't forgot about it and just like, yeah, just let them crack on and that's it. We're not going to do any more updates, just let them play and let's work on a new game. No, they're actually still investing in the game, which I think um, from a player's standpoint is quite important because that what that's what really keeps uh, like all that player base kind of around and even myself, like I'm going to go back to it. Like it's not a game where I'm just discarded and that's it. No, I think I will come back and just have a little jam because it is quite fun. Um, especially the different modes and, and, and you know I do miss a little bit of Star Wars to be honest um, so I think it's important that those you know game companies are doing that um, and still investing in the game that they they brought out so long ago I think that's very important in these updates and the updates look all right um, you know brings back a little bit of memories from those blasters that uh, T21 oh yeah good times good little uh, assault rifle there but I think um on a whole, I think the update's pretty solid, and I think, again, it's there to kind of draw people back, and I'll be interested to see some of the other updates that they do uh, in the future, and if, uh, yeah, if they ever bring out a uh, number three uh, game for the Battlefront, uh, so yeah, apart from that, if you kind of like these sort of updates, or like these reaction videos, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, bell notification, and comment down below uh, what you think about the update, but apart from that, thank you, thank you for uh, watching, and uh, yeah, no, I think that was a pretty solid update, uh, no need to give a score for this one, uh, just because it's just an update, not an actual um, new game or anything, so uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that, and yeah, have a good day or night with you from this big wide world, may the force be with you, cha-ching.